Hi, how are you? It is, uh, it is, uh, it is midnight. I'm just gonna say that instead, instead of fuzzing over that PM, AM, 12 thing. I'm just gonna say it's midnight, precisely in fact. So that's cool. Uh, uh, dog sitting is going fine. Um, I get up in the morning, I have myself like a snack bar or something like really simple, and then I go to my friend's house, I walk the dog, that's usually the first thing she wants. Because uh, she has to pee and stuff. So I walk the dog and then I, I like I do all the stuff, the dog care stuff, and then sometimes I'll I'll stick around for a bit longer just so that the dog doesn't have to be alone. Um, not so much in the morning. Like in the morning, I might just kind of extend it to like the closest hour, and then I'll go back home and I'll have a better breakfast slash lunch because it will probably be like one. So today I had toast with scrambled eggs. Which was awesome, because I can do that. I haven't done that in years. Um, I used to eat so much scrambled eggs and, and egg omelettes and stuff for a while, and I just got so sick of it. But now, scrambled eggs, it was, it was a really nice breakfast. I'm uh, trying to use less salt, because salt isn't that good if you're trying to not be fat. Anyways, uh, and, uh, and what else have I done? I haven't been re writing on my book, and a part of me wants to just kind of start over. The whole, I did, I was going to do a little vlog adventure thing on how to write a book and all the ups and downs, and I wanted to start over because I haven't done it for a while, but I, I, then again, it's just, you gotta keep going, man. It's part of the journey, not doing shit for days, <laughs> or weeks. Uh, but yeah, uh, my friend is gonna come over soon, I think, because he wants food. Well, not just because he wants food, because he wants to hang out and stuff, and we can watch sitcoms, which is like the, the pillar of our friendship, I guess. Uh, but I tend to make food because I don't know, I don't know what else to do when I have visitors. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on a few videos, or rather, here's the thing. Uh, the, the Let's Talk videos have mostly been unscripted videos. It's just been me kind of like, I want to talk about this. And then maybe I dotted down some uh, bullet points, kind of like, I want to mention this, this, and this. Uh, and then I just talked, and it was hell to edit, because I would say so many useless things. And I would get off topic, and I would, like, go on a rant about, like, a story that wasn't relevant at all, or just a tiny bit relevant, and it would just become, like, it literally all the Let's Talk videos, except from the first one, I think, have been, like, half an hour videos. And I just, I can't... Because I know a lot of people have, like, you know, hours of footage that's gonna become just, like, five minutes. But here's the thing, um... My, my videos are talk videos. I'm just talking about stuff and and They aren't the most difficult things to edit at all because you don't have to put in that much stuff I tried to do most of it like in program. So clips words um, Close-ups cuts. That's what I do. Sometimes I'll put in pictures But I don't really feel like putting in much more work than that just because this simple style of editing is my style And I like it and it's something that I can do without feeling too overwhelmed. So that's the thing, uh, but yeah, so instead of just going, like, turning on the camera and ranting on for half an hour, I've been starting to kind of, like, plan more of the thoughts, so I still don't script the video, but I will sit down and I will brainstorm all the thoughts I have on the subject, and then I will, after I've brainstormed all the things I think I want to say, I'll look over it and be like, okay, what are the main points here, and what can I cut out, and then I, and then I rewrite the brainstorm summary thing, and then after that, like, just to see how far that is, and that's usually fine. So after that, I will put on bullet points and then I know what I'm going to say, instead of being like, I kind of want to talk about that. Which means that I need to plan my videos a bit more before, but that's totally fine. Um, currently, I am working on a few, like, here's the thing, I'll get very inspired to make videos um, when I, when I can't. <laughs> like, like, earlier today, I really wanted to talk about... Wait, was that earlier today? No, uh, yesterday I think, or the day before. I really wanted to talk about like emotions because I'm not very really good at it. And then like I was super like, yes, I need to go talk about this. I need to go talk about like how I deal with emotions. And then I totally forgot. But just in case you wanted a sneak peek about that, uh, basically, I don't know how to emotion properly. I have, I am a very emotional person. Like things will hit me really hard if something happens or. Uh, I don't know. I just, in general, I'm an emotional person. I get really happy, I get really sad. I was actually kind of diagnosed with emotionally unstable diagnosis, which is kind of like bipolar, but just milder and less crazy. Uh, so I, I, I don't know if I actually got that diagnosis. She said that I had it, but she couldn't put the diagnosis on me because I was so young and I still had hormones, and I still have hormones. Like, seriously, guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, wait, where was I?
I don't know how to emotion. I struggle a lot with that. I want to talk about it. It's just, it's more of a heavy subject and my channel is not gonna be a happy bunny place. It's gonna be a place where I talk about real things, things that I think about, things that bother me, things that I think are important to be said. Uh, but it's, it's it's harder to sit down and talk about those things and not become extremely boring because you still have to be kind of entertaining. Also, um, talking speed? I've been thinking about talking speed for a while. Basically, in my video about Jeffrey, that was the video that got the most attention of all of them. Uh, I spoke really fast. Like, that video wasn't even two minutes long. Uh, I did cut out a big chunk of unnecessary talking. Here's the thing. If I, if I ever, like, go on a tandem and I just talk about something random, and, like, half of it, maybe, is, like, okay to use, but it, there's no good way to cut that out and keep it, because there's, like, something that I led with and something that I ended with, and I just have to cut out the whole thing, and it feels like something's missing. So the Jeffrey video was honestly not a very good video, and I regret it a bit. I don't regret it. I got some attention from it, and that was really nice. Um, but I wish I had done a better job with it, because, like, it, it would be really awkward if I did it again. <laughs> um, but I definitely could do it better if I did it again. But yeah, so, so I don't know, I'm still figuring out this talking thing, but I honestly feel like I have to just do it a lot and become better gradually, just like with so many other things. Because even if I planned it so, so well right now, I'm still not good enough to make it really good because I haven't gotten the experience. Just like when I was writing, I could have rewritten and edited a text like when I was 10 years old. I could have done that for hours or days or weeks and stuff. I could have like done that the most perfect thing ever at my level of time, but today that would still not be very good. Also, I'm I'm lazy. I'm not gonna I'm probably not gonna use the setup that I used for a while. That I would stand up, and I would just be like with this as a backdrop. By the way, it's not even wide enough for the shot, which is really like awkward. Uh, <laughs> but like stand up and use this as a background and stuff. I actually really like this setup because it's easier for me to set up. Like I don't have to like move all the microphones and the cameras and all the goddamn wires. I don't have to move that. I just I put the camera on top. Like, I have this box and then another box and then there's a camera because I'm a professional. Um, so just put the camera up there. I move the microphone, which is... Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill everything on my desk. I move the microphone, which is usually standing by my desk. I just move it below the camera and I plug it in the computer and I record and it's a really easy setup for me, which works really well because my whole concept is really simple. It's basically, let's talk. Um, I'm saying that, like, it seems like that's the only thing I do. I'm still thinking maybe I should get up and stand up for videos like when I talk about Japan or something, but I... I, I don't know. I will, no matter what I do, I won't, I'm not gonna get, like, this professional setup anyways. So I might as well do with this. This is very cozy because, by the way, it's, it's night time, so it looks like it's night time and it's like, you know, this is me and you talking in the evening. Um, yeah, but, I don't know. Should I do videos that are more, like, topic-oriented like this? Because talking videos are one thing. I'm just sitting and sharing talking with someone, or anyone, everyone, about a thing that I think about, and they can respond if they want to, and they don't have to. Uh, but when I'm like, okay, here's how to Japan. Should I get up? I feel like I should get up. But at the same time, if I get up, it's not going to make that much difference, like, of what I can fit in the frame. Because I can't stand too far away from the camera because the microphone can't be in the shot and then the microphone will be far away and it's not the best microphone. It's like, it's not a camera microphone. It is a recording microphone, a condenser, I think, which is made for talking fairly close to it. A mistake that I did a lot before because I'm still figuring this whole YouTube thing out. So I'm not really sure how far I should distinguish between my different styles. Maybe I'll just... Oh, my brother came home. He tried to unlock the door. It wasn't even locked. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm still figuring things out. I'm still figuring things out. And uh, he's gonna think that I'm insane for sitting in my room talking with myself. Or he's gonna think, oh, I was just probably Skyping with someone. Which is not true because I don't Skype with people anymore because I have no friends and I never turn on Skype. <sighs> No, figuring things out is difficult, but it's something you just gotta do over time, I guess. If I can give any advice to anyone who's trying to do something, like who wants to get really good at something, who wants to like make a thing a thing, you're gonna suck for a while. Like really bad, you're gonna be horrible. I, I, my voice instantly lowered when he came. Um, you're gonna be really bad at stuff for a while because you haven't figured it out yet. And here's the thing, a policy that I live by, it's, you can't know what you haven't learned. Because I get really annoyed when people are like, why don't you know that? Like, you shouldn't, like, I can't know what I haven't learned. 
Of course, I could have researched it and figured it out maybe, but a lot of things, you just, you, you don't know it because nobody told you yet or you haven't experienced it yet. So, I can't know what I haven't learned. I can't know what I don't know, so I have to figure it out. Yeah, uh, that, that's basically the moral of this video. Figuring stuff out takes time, you're gonna suck, and I really do. But maybe it'll sort out. I'm many things that I want to talk about, so hopefully I can do that at some point. But it's probably gonna continue being like this late time talking. I think my Let's Talk videos are gonna take over the channel a little bit. I'm gonna do show and tell still, and questionable advice and stuff, but talk videos are probably gonna be the most frequent thing, because that's, that, that, that's what fulfills my needs the most. Yay! Uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go. It's night time, so I'm gonna wish you good night or day or day or whatever time it is where you are, and I'll see you soon. Bye.